It's J Ajayi, the J Train. About to show you guys where I work on my fashion line. I like the drop on this bit. Make some shit shape. Now I'm about to head into Hollywood, go hit Flight Club up, find some shoes for my little bro. I know he likes the real uh, human race shoes. These are two Gs. Oh! You guys, Flight Club taking my money today. The Ajayi bros laced up. Yo, what's going on? It's Jay Ajayi, the J Train, here at Cohesive Factory in downtown LA. About to show you guys where I work on my fashion line and show you where the creative process gets done. Come follow me. Europe is my fashion brand, which stands for Your Unlocked Raw Power. Growing up, I always wanted to be able to make my own clothes. Now I've got the opportunity to kind of put my own brand out there, and it's dope. About to go into this room where the brainstorming and creative process happens. Got my boy Amir right here. What up, fam? What's going on? He helps hold down Cohesive Factory and open up the space. Being able to partner and get into a factory like this now for me is a very special thing because now I can be a lot more hands-on. Let's check out some of the new concepts that All we right. came up with yeah, that we talked about last time. This is the hoodie we had talked about. I know this is like the initial stage. Right. The design process is a fun process. It's really like a living and breathing process. And then here's some of the fabrics that we picked out for you. This one's the soft one. I think this one be cut feels cozy. I like that one. But fashion is very subjective to the person, so you know it just allows me to just be free, come up with those ideas, put them together with my team, and kind of mash it in a pot and come out with one final product. I like the drop on this fit right here. Our goal is to really just grow and try to do some elevated uh, streetwear basics and um, you know continue to just push our um, narrative. We can make some shit yeah, shape. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. All right, fam. Take care of my stuff, man. Yeah, I got you. Yep. Yeah, I just got done here at Cohesive Factory. Got our creative session all finished up. Now about to head into Hollywood, go hit Flight Club up, find some shoes for my little bro. Growing up in London was fun for me. You know, I was a kid, but I still have a lot of great memories from growing up there. And I still got a lot of family there, so it's really cool. I'm the oldest of five. Got two younger brothers, two younger sisters. And I appreciate my background of where I've come from, being Nigerian and also being British. And then growing up in the States, like I've been able to experience a lot and have a lot of culture impact who I am as a person. So I'm out there very blessed to like have that, um, you know, be a part of who I am. I played soccer growing up in Texas, and then I got introduced to football and uh, was just naturally good at it and then just kept staying with it. I got a scholarship from Boise State and basically I packed up all the way from Texas and was in Boise and it was a little bit different. That's where, you know, I was able to grow as a football player and a person and make it to the NFL. I got drafted by the Miami Dolphins. It was exciting because I knew I would be going to Miami. It was a great experience out there. The craziest thing with money I do is just spending it without having my advisor give me budget reports. You know, when I was a rookie, that was the dumbest thing I was doing. But I learned that quickly, and I fired that advisor, and I got me a new business manager. As a rookie, the first year I did too much partying. You know, I was going out a lot. Then I realized like how the scene is and everything, and you kind of learn what's really important. Where like now I'll go out every now and then, but I don't really like going to the clubs like that no more. 
ended up on the Eagles. Best situation I could have ever dreamt of, you know, because I ended up winning the Super Bowl. And especially to be a part of that moment for Philly, because they had never won a Super Bowl before. So it's like, you're part of history, and I'm so grateful, and uh, you know, it's special. The game gives you extreme highs and lows because just to start the year as a Super Bowl champion and then go into this next season and, and think everything is in front of you and then like one play, boom, and the season's over with a torn ACL. You know, it's tough. It's not nothing that's new to me. I, I'm built for it. So I was just about me just putting my head to the grind and taking it day by day. That's how I look at it. I have two little brothers, a 15-year-old, he's getting to that age of high school where, you know, he needs to get his, his swag up and get his style, find his own style, you know, what he likes to wear. And I think, you know, it'll be cool to get to go to flight club and pick some, some dope kicks out for him. Crazy enough, he's 15 though, he wears the same size as me, so he's gonna be a freak in football. He's already killing it, so. So we done pulled up right here off Fairfax at the flight club. About to check it out. It's one of the hottest shoe spots out here in Hollywood. About to see what kind of gems they got in there for us. Let's check it out. What's going on, man? How you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm here looking for some shoes, man. Show my little bro. Thank trying you. to get his swag up, man. I feel he's, you. He's just turned 15, um, always getting hand-me-downs, so I'm trying to, you know, get, some get little right. nice. I feel that, I feel that. Yeah, we got some Jays over here, if he likes them. We have some Cactus Jacks over here by Travis Scott. Well, I don't know if my little brother Daniel, if he likes Jordans, so though. I know sure. he likes. Yeezys. Okay. Um, like trainers, I, runners. Yeah, and I think he likes the, the Pharrell uh, human race shoes as well. For sure. You guys got a good collection of those? Yeah, we have a bunch on the wall over here, actually. Okay, these are like the OG. Yeah, with some of the first ones that came out. We got the red, orange, yellow. I think, I think my little bro, I think he'll like those red ones. He gonna like these. It's gonna, gonna add to the swag. We gonna get them right. Daniel, we got some shoes coming your way. Don't even trip, boy. <laughs> yeah, facts, facts. I like those. So, so how much are those shoes gonna run me, man? These, so since these are limited, we don't have too many pairs. Right. These are uh, two right now, two Gs. Okay. Yeah. Hey, man. You better get good grades this <laughs> year, boy. You finna drop some stacks on your human races, so I need good grades and ball out on that football field. Finna get my little bro right with these human races right here. Yeah, so while we over here, man, I ain't even gonna lie. I got two brothers. If I get one shoe for one. You gotta get somebody else. You, you know, gotta I gotta to get yeah. the other one one. So um, I like these off-white Prestos right here, man. Solomon, he's gonna like those a lot. How much are those? For him? What's the damage. These are 755. Okay. Yeah. The Jai bros laced up today. We hot stepping. I done cop some shoes for little bros. Now I gotta take care of myself. Do you got the Vapor Maxes? And then can I look at these all black Prestos as well? We got those in the 13. All right. Both actually. Bet. And I know the Yeezy collection is coming up over here. It is, it is. And I see these Wave Runners, and I have another pair, but I don't have these ones. Let me check. And I need these ones in the 13. In the 13 no, please, also? Please tell me you have these. This is, this is the last, this is the last item I need out of Flight Club. Jason, hold me down right now, bro, please. We got those. We do. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go ahead and ring that in. You guys, Flight Club taking my money today. Sorry. OK, time to check out. We got the human races. And 
donuts go for 2000 We got the Prestos. Those go for seven thirty. Uh, another pair of Prestos. We got the white ones and the all black ones, and those are for twelve fifty. And then we got the Vapor Maxes for seven fifty five. There's a lot of high numbers right there. Wave runners, yeah. For four sixty five. Gotta get those. And your total is gonna be five thousand six hundred ninety four. Oh. Okay. Appreciate you guys for the hospitality. Jason, have, have a good one. one. It's been a pleasure. My bro's gonna love it. So yeah, appreciate man. you, man. Have a good one. Yep. Yeah, man, just got my gear from Flight Club, one of the hottest shoe stores out here in Hollywood. You know, you just spent the whole day with me out there in LA, checking out the factory where I was working on my Yurt stuff. Bought some shoes for my little bros, get, get our swag up. Now it's the J Train piecing out. Thanks, big bro, for hooking me up with these new shoes. These things fire. I can't wait to rock these around campus.